Hey everybody, welcome to another video by Into Fly Fishing. In this video, I'm gonna do a full hands-on review of the Max Catch Premier Fly Fishing Combo Set. So let's get into it. All right, so before we get started with this video, I should just mention that I'm not sponsored by Max Catch in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and I actually purchased this rod on Amazon just like anybody else would. And I've been fishing it for about eight months now on and off and I really love the rod. So that's why I decided I was gonna sit down and give you guys an honest review and give you all the information you might need if you're planning on maybe buying this rod and the combo set that comes with it. So the great thing about the Max Catch Premier Combo Set is that it comes with literally everything you need to head out on a day on the water. You get the fly rod and the rod tube. You get a Max Catch Avid Reel. You get backing, fly line, tippet, a waterproof double-sided fly box with eight popular flies tied inside, nippers, forceps, and a line straightener. So I'm gonna start off by talking about the rod tube. As you can see, the rod comes in this really sturdy PVC and material covered tube that even has a zippered pocket where you can fit the reel and even the fly box and the nippers and things all fit within this one convenient package. The rod tube is sturdy enough that if you took it out on a day on the river or on the lake, or even if you were bushwhacking through mountain country to try to get to those hidden streams, you're not gonna damage your rod, your reel, and the other bits of gear that come in this kit. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the rod. And to get into this uh, tube, I'm just gonna open up this zipper compartment here. And here we have the rod nicely separated by vinyl separation flaps. And you have all four pieces of this four piece, five weight, nine foot fly rod. Pulling the rod out of the tube, you can see that it has a really nice premium cork handle that fits really well in the hand. And I casted with this cork handle, I casted the rod for you know hours on end while I was fly fishing around Portugal. And never once did my arm get sore or my hand get blistered because it's really quite a comfortable cork grip. I really love the carbon fiber double ring uplocking reel seat on this rod. It just looks beautiful and you can see the carbon fiber in there and that's part of the reason the rod's so light. And I had no problem getting the reels in and out of this thing really quickly. It's a really easy to use reel seat system. Another thing that I like about the rod is that it features those little dots that you need, those alignment dots on each one of the sections of blank so that you can easily line up your stripper guides and everything. And it just kind of makes it a little bit faster when you're out on the river getting everything set up so you can get out on the river quicker and start casting that line out there. The rod itself is incredibly well built for the price. It's a fast action rod and the blanks are made with pure IM830T carbon fiber, which keeps it very light in hand. These blanks are constructed using five layers of carbon, which they say gives it a 25% increase in strength while knocking off about 15% of the overall weight. I have to say that when you're holding this rod, it does feel pretty light. And the rod also features high quality ceramic insert stripper guides and hard chrome stainless steel snake guides. Next up, we're gonna have a look at the reel. And I really love this little reel. It's actually really cheap. They sell it separately as well. You don't have to buy it as part of this combo kit but this is the Max Catch Avid Reel. The reel is made with relatively lightweight CNC machine aluminum bar stock, and it features a smooth and reliable Teflon and cork center disc drag system that delivers instant drag tension and actually feels pretty capable even when pulling in large fish. The arbor is mid-size and it gives you just enough of the line retrieval rate that you don't have to be fighting fish for a really long time. The Max Catch Avid Reel also has a really nice large drag knob on the back side that's really easy to use. Even with one hand, you can tighten and loosen the drag. And it's also really easy to take the reel apart if you want to change spools. It's just a quick knob spool on there that you can uh, unscrew and then quickly change over your spool. So the reel itself it's not the highest quality reel in the world, of course, but it does feel great. And they've used some good design methods to make it as easy to use on the river as it could possibly be. And as always, with any combo set, when you buy the Max Catch reel with this rod combo, the reel's gonna match the, and balance to the rod perfectly. Next up, we'll have a look at the flies and the fly box. And actually, I bought this set of flies um, that came with this combo kit. And I also bought another set of flies on Amazon. And we did a video on those flies before, and I was really unhappy with the quality of them but the Max Catch flies were actually much better quality than those ones, even though they come in this incredibly affordable kit and you basically get them for free. And I liked the fly box as well a little bit more. It has really nice inserts here um, and it's a nice waterproof tight seal and it's double-sided so you can stack flies on both sides of the box. 
And yeah, it just feels like you could throw this thing around, throw it in the back of the truck, and you're not gonna have any problem damaging it or breaking it. I'm not gonna go over the stuff like the nippers and the line straightener and the, and the four sets because they're basically like what you would expect. They feel pretty high quality, uh, but I don't have to go through each one in detail because it's just what you would get. They're a couple bucks each, you know, you don't have to go on a full review of these kind of tools. But they do feel sturdy enough and they were working fine for me while I was out on the river. So I wanna talk a little bit about the Max Catch warranty. They do offer a one year warranty on all their products, including this Max Catch Premier set. But I have to say, I've read a lot of reviews of this company and I think that one thing, one place that they're failing in is their customer service. From the reviews, I learned that a lot of people were having problems sending back in their rod and waiting to get it back. And because these rods are built in China, you'd have to ship it all the way back to China, get the repair done, and then ship it all the way back to yourself at your own expense. And considering the incredible price that you get on these fly rods and these fly rod combos, I don't think you'd want to ship it all the way to China and back because it's going to cost you more in shipping, most likely, than it would be just to pick up another kit. But I must say that I've had a lot of different Max Catch gear over the last five years. I think I've had three different rods, five different reels from them, and I've never had a problem with them breaking. I've never had any corrosion issues. I really like the gear. It's well built, especially for the price. So hopefully you don't have to utilize that warranty. But if there is a con in this brand and in potentially in this kit itself, it's that you might not get the great customer service when you're trying to utilize that warranty and get repairs or replacements done with Max Catch. So now I wanna talk a little bit about my personal impressions of this rod. Like I said, I took it fly fishing uh, for a trip in Portugal and I've used it quite a few times there. Um, was out on the river for hours on end. And yeah, it's just really nicely built. I love the nice green color on the rod and you can get it with the matching green fly reel as well. Um, and the thread wraps around all the snake guides and the stripper guides are really nicely wrapped. You know, sometimes you get a rod and it looks like it might just snap and it's a pain in the ass, not these ones. The stripper guides and snake guides really well secured on the rod and it looks and feels like a much more expensive rod when you first get it in your hand. I wanna talk a little bit too about the casting of the rod. Uh, I felt that the medium fast action was just right. You get the bend around the top third of the rod near the tip and you're able to generate quite a bit of line speed with this rod and I was even casting in windy conditions and I was high casting as well because I had some bushes and trees behind me and I was still able to produce those tight loops when I was on my forecast I was getting it out there and I did an accuracy test at about 20 30 and 40 feet in that range the rod does really well I had no problem I picked a small spot on the other side of the river where I saw a pool and I was trying to tag that pool every time. I really had no problem with the accuracy at that distance. When it got up to the longer cast, you know, for me, I, I was putting it out about 50 or 60 feet. Then I would start to notice that I was a little bit uh, less accurate on it than maybe some of my more expensive rods. But really it was so minimal that it's hard to tell and I would easily use this as a backup rod or even I would switch between this rod and some of my more expensive rods while I'm on the river, just because I really like the feel of it anyways. Um, and of course, it's a really inexpensive kit. So when you're out on the river with this, you don't have to worry about always being so careful with it, putting it back in its tube, putting it back in its case. You can be really rough with this, just knowing that you, if you have to replace it, it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. The next thing I wanna talk about is the fighting ability. I did love the feel of it. And when I got, a, when I got the first strike from a really small trout, I could feel it at the tip of the rod. Uh, so it's sensitive enough that even if you're getting little fish, and this is the five weight, so even if you're catching little trout, you know, maybe even tiny bass, and you're gonna feel that right away at the tip of your rod, and you're gonna know that you have something on there. And that I really like about it. I like the sensitivity of it. And even if you're catching um, some bigger fish, reeling them is no problem. The rod does hold up quite well, and it's got a, a perfect amount of medium fast action for both casting and fighting the fish. So you're not gonna have a problem reeling in fish with this rod. So next, I wanna talk a little bit about the value for money. And honestly, to me, this is the best value fly fishing combo on the market today. I am not saying by any means that Max Catch makes as nice of gear as you know a Sage fly rod or a nice Reddington. Um, I'm not gonna put it up against those because they're basically in a different category altogether. But for a new fly angler or someone looking for a backup rod, you cannot go wrong with this for the price. And like I said, super well built, feels great in hand. And yeah, don't compare it to the rods that are gonna cost you $1,000 because this is one-tenth the price and it's not one-tenth the quality. So the quality to price ratio definitely is a case of diminishing returns with fly rods. For the real budget end of the spectrum, 
this is a great option for fly fishermen and women. So that's it. If you guys are looking for a cheap fly fishing combo kit and you want to have everything that you need to get out on the river all in one package that you can just order to your door on Amazon and have it there in a day or two, you can't go wrong with the Max Catch Premier Combo Kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this review video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're coming out with new fly fishing gear reviews like this, as well as fly tying tutorials and fly fishing technique tutorials that are coming out every single week. So subscribe now and stay tuned as we grow this channel and try to help more people get into this incredible sport of fly fishing. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines.